Now we of course live in a beautiful area with incredible desert vegetation and for the most part really nice weather. But as with anywhere you live, there are certain things to look out for, especially when it comes to our pets. And since they really can't talk for themselves or take care of themselves, we need to be aware. Exactly. So Andrea Mitchell from the Humane Society of Southern Arizona is back once again to not only tell us about what disease we should be aware of, but to introduce us to this week's <laughs> adoptable pet. Hello, Andrea. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having us. And who is this handsome boy you brought us? Will is pigging out on milk bones right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Will. He is a seven-year-old little hound dog, and okay. he, he knows I have all the treats, so there's no way he's going to look over there. Come here. He is seven years old, and I had to bring Will to you guys today so you guys could meet him because he's been in our shelter now for 95 days, and we really need Will to find his forever home as soon as possible. He is a, he is a great dog. He's a very loyal animal. He loves people, gets along great with other dogs. He really needs to get out of the shelter. Now, there is something about Will that kind of leads us into what we were talking about at the beginning of this segment is that Will actually has valley fever. Exactly. I was on here before, coccidiodomycosis, and we know you have it. Yes. And Will has it, so you guys have something in common. You will. Right? <laughs> so valley fever is all over the southwest. It's in arid regions where the temperature is hot and the elevation isn't too high. And, um, and it's spread through a fungus that's in the dirt. And so dogs and other animals are more susceptible to get it because their noses are all over the ground, especially a little hound dog like Will who's always sniffing around all over the place. So Will has valley fever, and so he needs a little bit of a special home. And I feel like people get really scared when they come in. They meet Will. He's a great dog. And then they hear that, and they, they back out. They, don't, they think it's too much. They, are, they don't know what it means. They think that they're going to get it or their other pets are going to get it, and they're not. Heather's not going to get valley fever because you have it. We're not going to get right. it. It's, 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 not it's all good, yeah. and it's totally maintainable. Uh, Will has right now a titer of 1 over 8, which means that his valley fever symptoms are super low. Will is a really healthy dog who just happens to have valley fever. He doesn't have, he doesn't have the lesions. He doesn't have lameness. He doesn't limp around. He's actually quite the opposite. He's extremely active. He's very strong. He, um, he doesn't have a persistent cough. Oh, oh. and he's like, oh, and boy. Heather has black pants on. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. Well, and you guys are even if oh, well, we do it's, get an adoption for <laughs> Will, which I know we will. Girl, Will's, here, baby. Will's left the building. Yeah. Well, once here, he comes on. back, you guys are going to help yeah. out his new forever family. Yeah, yeah. So he's been with us for so long, and so we really want to help him out. We want to help him get out of the shelter. So we, the Humane Society of Southern Arizona, we are going to provide the family with six months worth of his medicine to get him nice and healthy. A dog with valley fever should see their vet biannually twice a year just to make sure that their tighter, tighter levels stay low and <laughs> valley fever <laughs> come here just oh, let yeah. it yeah all right there he goes <laughs> um, valley fever can go away so we just need yeah. to make sure that this family is dedicated to to watching will's levels and making sure that it doesn't get any worse um, and then hopefully one day he won't even have to be on medicine, but we want to help jumpstart that. We want to help jumpstart him getting out of the shelter. And so six months worth of medicine um, and then Will's adoption fees also are a senior adoption fee, which is only $50 plus the license. And so you can take home this wonderful senior pet who's every, extremely active. Every reason in the world to take Will yes. home. So thank you for bringing it. He's with Aaron, our camera know, guy right, right yeah. now. He's making friends. Yes, but remember to learn more about how to take care of your pets and to see all the adoptable pets at the Humane Society. Visit hssaz.org or you can call 327-6088. And don't forget to also follow their page on Instagram by searching for at Humane Society S-O-A-Z.